Good morning, Internet. Adam Bate here again from B2Net Solutions. Just doing a quick demo video this morning. Uh, this morning we're going to be tackling sort of what you need to purchase, purchase and set up an SSL certificate. Um, so this can all be done from within your Plus control panel. We're using Plus 10 this morning. Um, all you need to do is log into your account to begin with. Uh, so we'll do that now. So you'll need a, a SSL certificate if you're setting up, say, a store or sort of um, a client area that um, handles sort of sensitive or private information. Um, always good to to have that little bit extra security. So we can click on websites and domains. They're actually right here in our dashboard. It looks like secure your site with SSL certificate. Um, click on that. We'll go through websites and domains in case that doesn't pop up for you. And then click on SSL certificates right here. Um, you will, something to note, you will need a dedicated IP address if you're going to use an SSL cert. So make sure um, that you've purchased a dedicated IP address from your web host. Um, so if you need one, open a ticket with us. We'll be happy to, to provide you with an SSL, um, sorry, with a dedicated IP. So once you're in here, just click on Add SSL Certificate. And before you ever go to the vendor to actually purchase the certificate, you'll need to set this up. Um, within Plask and within your account. So just name it, uh, we'll call it online store. So say our certificates for an online store and leave that set to uh, 1024. Um, select your country. Now all this information needs to match what you're going to supply the vendor. So say if you're buying it um, you know, through us or through a third party, um, all of this needs to match up. So let's uh, um, let's call it the coffee bean um, domain. Now the domain name is the domain of your actual um, SSL cert. So in our case, I want it to be store.thecoffeebean.ca. Um, I could do, um, you know, www. If I wanted to secure the uh, entire website, I could do say clients.thecoffeebean.ca if I wanted to secure like a client area, but in this case I'm going to use it for a store, so we'll do store.thecoffeebean. That's all there is to it before you purchase the certificate. Um, and in all honesty, that's all we're going to cover this morning. We'll go over sort of setting up and installing it once we get the, the additional information from the vendor. But all you need to do is click on request and it will generate you a certificate signing request, a CSR, and a private key that you can view by clicking on your certificate. And if you scroll down here, you'll be able to see the CSR, the private key. Now, once you purchase the SSL certificate, you'll need to supply them this CSR, this certificate signing request. Um, and basically from that from all of this information here, um, they'll generate you a certificate and a signing authority or a certificate authority um, certificate. And basically, once you put that in, it it tells the the browsers that are viewing your your web page and your SSL certificate that sort of a company has backed this that yes, it is in fact secure. Um, and it is, you know, 1024 bit or what have you. So that's all there is to it. We're not going to input these values today. Um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and purchase an, an SSL certificate for the domain, uh, and I'll do another demo video on sort of that process and getting this information in here. But for now, that's all you need to generate your CSR and your private key, um, and then you're you're good to go to to purchase the SSL certificate. Again, remember you will need a dedicated IP address for this. Um, and as always, if you have any questions, please open a support ticket with us or check us out on Twitter at, um, at B2Net Solutions. And we'll be happy to help and uh, hope you enjoy your day. Thanks so much.